Hi, I'm Tom Nahumi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration video, I will be showing the Dell EMC Virtual Storage Integrator for the VMware vSphere client and how it can help administrators manage their power store systems. Virtual Storage Integrator, the VSI, is a solution from Dell EMC to integrate storage with vSphere. VSI enables administrators to view, manage, and optimize storage directly from the vSphere client. The first part of this demo will be focusing on existing functionalities in version 8.4, which are the configuration items in the VSI dashboard, best practices, settings to ESX and host, adding a new data store, and lastly, I will show increasing the capacity of an existing data store while the second part will be focusing on the new capabilities we've added in version 8.5. Now, let's go to the demo. As you can see, in my VMware vCenter 7 instance, I have multiple ESXi host clusters. The first step after deploying the VSI OVA is registering the parse store array. I'm navigating to the VSI tab, and then I'm clicking on the plus sign next to the storage systems. When the wizard opens, I can set the storage system type to parstore, specify the fully qualified domain name or the IP address, enter the username and password, and then I can select which vSphere groups can manage this array from the plugin. Next, I can check the option to register the array VASA provider in order to be able to create vivo data stores. Then, I'm clicking Next and Finish to complete the registration. When we dive into the storage systems, we can view configuration information such as version, IP address, and the overall capacity consumption. Now, let's create a new data store. I'm navigating to the Host and Clusters tab, and then right-clicking on my cluster and going to the Dell EMC VSI Actions. From this drop-down menu, I'm selecting New Data Store. When the wizard opens, I can choose between multiple data store types, VMFS, NFS, or Vivo Data Store. When creating a new VMFS data store, I can select the version and also choose to create a single or multiple data stores. I'm clicking Next, and here I can give it a name. Next, and here I'm selecting my storage array. I can also see the capacity information for each array I manage via the plugin. On this screen, I'm specifying the capacity. In this case, I want it to be 1 terabyte. I can also select the performance policy, the protection policy, and the space reclamation policy. Next, I'm clicking on the next button and then finish. Within a few seconds, the new volume is being created at a storage array level mapped to the relevant hosts in my cluster, and then formatted as a VMFS file file system. By navigating to the parse stor storage UI, we can see that the volume has been created and mapped to the hosts. Once the new data store is ready, I can select it and navigate to the Configure tab, and then click on the Dell EMC VSI Storage tab. From this screen, I can view general information about a data store, including capacity, performance, and protection information, and even to change these settings such as these policies. Another useful capability of the plugin is increasing an existing data source size. In order to add extra capacity, I just right-click on a Dell EMC VSI actions and then increase data store capacity. To increase the size, I simply type in the desired size. So for example, if I want to increase this data store size from two terabytes to three terabytes, I type in three and select the drop down four terabytes and then click save. In the background, the array is expanding the volume and then the host will extend the data store to the new size. If we look at the data store summary now, we can see the new size. Another important feature I would like to show you is the Apply Best Practices option. If I click on one of my clusters and highlight the Dell MCVSI actions, then 
I can click on Apply Best Practices, which presents the wizard that scans the hosts in order to detect which settings are set correctly and which are not, and then allows me to pick and choose which settings to apply according to the storage array connected to my vSphere cluster. Here, I'm clicking Apply Best Practices on all hosts in my cluster. For example, if I try this on a single host, it can show me items with yellow exclamation points for settings that still need to be remediated. I can hover over each settings and every parameter and that will show me the current value as compared to the best practice value, while in my case, all the best practices values are already set. In this second part of the demo, I will cover new features in version 8.5. The main features are snapshot management, new storage views for VMs, hosts, and cluster, deletion of RDM and VMFS data stores, manual space reclamation, and best practices enhancements. So with that, let's start. By selecting one of the parts of data stores I created earlier and navigating to the Dell EMC storage tab, we have now the snapshots view. The following functions are supported for VMFS data stores in Parstore storage system. Policy-based snapshot creation, create snapshot on demand, delete snapshot, edit snapshot, view snapshot detail, and create a thin clone of a snapshot. I'm clicking on the plus sign to create a new snapshot. Here, I can specify the name and set the local retention policy. Once the snapshot has been created, I can click on it and see the snapshot's details. If I go to the Parstore UI and select the volume, under the Protection tab, I can find the new snapshot I just created from the VSI plugin. In addition to the single snapshot creation, I can go back to the Storage View tab and assign a protection policy. If I refresh the screen, you can see that this policy is now applied on that volume. Another useful feature is the ability to create a clone of a snapshot by selecting the snapshots and choosing Create Clone of a Snapshot from the More Actions menu. In the Create Clone Snapshot model, select the ESXi host to mount the data store, select the performance policy and optionally a protection policy. Then, click Create to proceed. We can see that new snapshot is now mounted on the selected host and we can recover virtual machines from that data store. The same way, we can delete the snapshot by selecting the snapshot and clicking delete in the delete snapshot confirmation box. We can confirm the selection and then click delete. Now, let's review the new storage view. In addition to the general data store storage view tab, you can now view parse store storage details of a virtual machine on both VMFS and Vivol data stores. To view the virtual machine disk's details for a selected virtual machine, go to the Configure Dell EMC VSI Storage tab and select one of the hard disks. The hard disk details will be displayed, including general information, capacity, and performance details for that specific virtual machine. Now, let's move to the next feature and create a new RDM disk via the VSI plugin. In order to do so, we navigate to the virtual machine and click on the Dell EMC VSI tab. Here, we click on Create RDM. Next, we specify the RDM settings and then select the Parstore array. Now, we select the size and the performance policy and protection policies for that specific RDM and click Next to review the settings and then Finish to complete the task. In the background, you can see the tasks of the creation of that volume and attachment to that VM as an RDM disk. The same way, we can delete RDM disks directly from the vSphere client. This will remove and delete the RDM from the virtual machine as well as from the storage array. If we select a virtual machine which resides on a virtual volume data store, in this example Windows 01, and then Navigating to the Dell EMC VSI tab, by clicking on its hard disks, 
we can see all the details of that virtual volume, such as the type and the name, the physical capacity on the array, and the performance metrics of that specific virtual volume. Another useful view we've added in this release is the host and cluster view. Parser data stores are now included in the VMware data stores view for both hosts and cluster. This can be found under the Dell EMC VSI VMware Data Stores tab. Please note that selecting a data store will display the backend storage details in the Dell EMC Array Devices data grid below. In addition, parse store devices are now included in the Dell EMC Devices view for a selected host or a cluster. This can be found under the Dell EMC VSI Array Devices and then under the Parse Store tab. The next capability, which is one of the most important one, is the on-demand space reclamation. VSI now supports on-demand space reclamation of VMFS 5 and VMFS 6 data stores in case you choose to disable automatic space reclamation for VMFS 6. In this example, you can see that 66% of the data store is in use. Now, even if I go and delete the virtual machine, the dead space is still occupied at the storage array level, since automatic unmap is set to disabled. Now, let's delete the virtual machine and run space reclamation on the data store. You can see that at the data store level, the storage is reclaimed, but at the volume level, the storage is still occupied. We can run space reclamation from this view or by clicking on the Dell EMC VSI actions and run space reclamation from a host, cluster, data center, storage folder, or a single data store. This operation will perform unmap operation on one data store at a time. Also, the operation is limited to registered storage systems only. As you can see, within a few seconds, the dead space has been reclaimed from that volume. In conclusion, Using the Dell MC VSI plugin for VMware vSphere, along with the Parse Store storage, can help streamline common tasks administrator incur daily, all while easily managing settings and tasks straight from the vSphere web client. For more information, please visit dell.com. I hope you will find this demo useful, and thank you very much for watching.